holy crap there's some guy riding his bike and it's like 105 heat index today that's crazy and it's like what time is it it's noon so that's nuts okay so this is the end of my front porch buying frenzy i went on a little bit of a front porch spending spree i have not ordered since this last order so i'm officially kind of done with front porch for a little bit until i warm through some of this stuff so and actually i'm kind of on a ban i started myself on a ban again because I've accumulated quite a bit of wax. So the first one I got is this is the paraffin butterflies in Sweet Dreams. And I want to say the Sweet Dreams is like a lavender and I can't oh shoot, I remember I looked it up. Sweet Dreams is lavender and something sweet, maybe like sweet pea. I'll look and try to put it in the little area there. This one just smells really good. I really like that one. It's a nice soothing scent. This one was kind of a jump for me. Banana cream cookies and cinnamon graham crackers. I've never had graham crackers in any wax before. So I was a little hesitant because I think sometimes they don't come across right. But this one actually, you can smell the graham crackers. It's very weird. I've never, you can smell, actually smell the graham crackers and the banana cream. So this one should go really good, I'm hoping. Okay, so this one is a triple layered macaroon, Slumberland, it's Bedtime Kids, Cactus, and Sea Salt. And so this is what it looks like. I like the color she used on this one, that's pretty cool. So most of what I'm smelling is the cactus and sea salt. I've had It's Bedtime Kids before. And I do enjoy that scent. I believe It's Bedtime Kids is... Maybe Honey, I Wash the Kids. Lush Stoop. And Slumberland, I'll have to look up because I'm not really sure. But that one's just a nice, soothing, like nighttime scent but again the cactus and sea salt is kind of the dominant note so it's hard to smell the other notes aloha vanilla is a new one and i'll have to get a scent description for this one because she put it on her page mm, this one just smells like maybe pina colada with vanilla just a really good summer scent on that one so that's, and I also got those in the paraffin as well. This one I don't know about. Pink chiffon powder and sea salt. Not 100% sure what I was thinking on this one. It just sounded unique. And I don't know. I definitely smell that powder note. Not much sea salt. It almost smells kind of like a old lady Kind of scent not sure if i like that i might have to mix it with something so this is brown fig sea salt sugar uh, the brown fig is intriguing to me it smells like a fresh scent to me so i really do enjoy it this one is really good yeah that brown fig is just interesting you can get the sea salt but mostly brown fig is what I smell mostly. So is that. Okay, so I got something blueberry from Front Porch maybe in one of my last couple hauls. So this is Mama's Blueberry Cobbler, Black Cherry Bomb, Cotton Candy Bread. Now I have had blueberry jelly donuts before from Front Porch and I got that Play-Doh note. And I'm sorry to say that on this one, the Mama's, yeah, Mama's Blueberry Cobbler has that same note. I mean, it does smell blueberry-ish, but it does smell Play-Doh-ish, too. Mostly, then that's mostly what I'm getting. I think the cotton candy bread is that bottom layer, but I like the colors that she did again. The black cherry bomb is pretty dominant in there as well. I've heard people say that cherry or cherry scents sometimes smell like cat urine. I don't smell that in this, so that's a bonus. Okay, 
last two things. So this is raspberry filled bread, which are in the paraffin tarts. So the paraffin, you probably don't need to like cure as long, maybe a couple weeks. I really like the scent of these. You get that bread note and a creamy raspberry. I like that one. Okay, so I did have a little bit of trouble. I don't know if you can see through the package here, but my scoopable kind of went ape and kind of melted in the box a little bit. It didn't damage anything else, so I'm just gonna keep it in the bag and I don't know. Maybe try to, I'm not sure. It's just kind of a hot mess in there. But this is in Donut Shop. Probably can't see it because it's all greasy. Yeah, so this is Donut Shop. And it's kind of sad because this one actually does smell like Krispy Kreme donuts. It smells like an actual donut shop. I've had donut shops since before that never smell like don donut shops to me, but this one truly does. You get that like um, the yeasty smell, not a bread yeasty smell, but a donut yeasty smell. They smell different to me, like a sweet, creamier. This one smells really good. I actually cannot wait to warm this one, even though it kind of, you know, you can see kind of uh, exploded. <laughs> but anyway, so like I said, I there won't be any more videos for me for a little bit. I do have rainbow melts coming, but I won't be able to film that one for a while. Probably maybe next week I can film it because uh, my daughter has some activities that she has to go to, but I think that's it. So anyways, yeah, so new band starting because I was on a band and then I went crazy and then now it's time to ban again. So <laughs> I guess that's just the way things go. Okay, so I will talk to you guys later and like again, I'll see you in a week or so or two. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.